Florida state is proposing legislation to make child rape punishable by death. Do you believe that child rape should be met with the death penalty? What are your reasons for or against this stance? No. The death penalty is never justified. There is always a chance of redemption and rehabilitation. Even life in prison can produce social value. Victims of genocide have forgiven perpetrators. Death is martyrdom and can be encouraging to certain criminals. Suicide watch in prison is horrible. Let them live and suffer if they won't come to terms with their evil acts. Death is considered a maximum penalty. If you're going to be killed for rape, why not also torture the victim to death? Why not hurry up and find more victims before you're caught? They can't kill you twice. I believe in the death penalty for much less than that. I think theft of Eid Quran to K also be punishable by death, and anything worse than that. I think we would need solid evidence though like a video or something. Basically enough evidence that it's no way you're wrongfully convicted, and none of this expensive death process. Have them dig a grave, shoot them in the back of the head, and let their body fall into grave. Doesn't need to be a long drawn out thing either, straight from the courthouse. Dig a whole die. The fact we waste so much money on criminals is astounding. I condemn the crime. But I'm not sold on the death penalty. I think it would be possible to take advantage of the system and accuse innocent people to get back at them. It's easy to manipulate children, and some parents go to extreme lengths to alienate their child from the other parent. Many of them falsely claim that the child was abused by the other parent and manipulate the child to give false testimony. It can take years to uncover the truth and clear the name of that person. It would probably depend on the concrete situation and the evidence they have. I'd be against it, if only because it's the start of a slippery slope. For so long, the death penalty has been reserved for murder cases. Expand it to child rape. And then what's next? Rape of an adult. What's after that? Death penalty for assault battery. You see where I'm going with this. Everyone loves to be tough on crime. The problem with that is that eventually, you are so tough on crime that you are sending people to prison for 20 years for possession of marijuana or sentencing them to death for stealing a car. Where does it end? Absolutely 100 for this. Being assaulted as a child will affect and hurt the child for the rest of their lives. And yes, I speak from experience. You cannot reform these people. There is no cure. Much better for the entire population to just remove them before they hurt another child. This especially applies to those demon seeds that assault babies under the age of 5 or impregnate those under the age of 14. Any lawmaker stating child rape is okay if the perp marries his underage victim should be removed from public office and vilified. I oppose the death penalty in general. IMO Child rapists are basically the most heinous of criminals though. I mean I can understand how most crimes happen. I'm not saying it's right for a guy to come home, find his wife in bed with his neighbour, and shoot the two of them. But I understand how it happens. You have to be a real sick fuck to rape a child though. I don't think there's any rehabilitation for someone like that. So, while I don't really support the death penalty, I do think child rapists should be separated from society forever. My approach to child rapists or anyone that rapes. Public flogging with a chain. In countries where you're publicly punished before people such as Malaysia, the crime rate is almost nil. Russia has a prison called Black Dolphin where you are treated like an animal. You're in shackles you have no rights. In Lima, Peru. Their prisons you sleep on a roach-infested floor with nothing but a pair of shorts. America we give you good food, soft bed to sleep on free medical care, when some of them should get the electric chair. I think child molestation is an awful crime. I don't think that just because the government thinks you're guilty of it means they should kill you. I don't think the government should be killing any prisoners. Oved. Not specifically child rape. I don't think the Florida government who are screaming groomer every time a drag queen or trans person is near a child should be trusted with that level of authority. In a civilized society, no one should be punished with a death penalty 
or any other form of violence. Too many people have been and will be murdered even though they didn't do the crime, and even for those who in fact did it. You're not any better than them by killing a human being. And while these are the cost of the death penalty, there isn't any value actually because stiffer punishments don't lead to deterring more people from not doing the crime. In our justice system, I think you're asking for trouble with any punishment that's as permanent as death. I think you can probably make a case that some offenders both in this specific instance and for other crimes do need to be permanently removed from society. I just don't think the US or mostly anywhere else has a good enough track record of impartial justice to say that this good idea for a death penalty to exist. Morally, I'm not opposed to killing someone who was convicted of rape in a fair trial child victim or not, but our trial system isn't reliable enough and the safeguards we have all the appeals are too costly to be worth it to society. Without the appeals it's too risky to be abused to kill innocent people, but the appeals make it too expensive, so we're better off with life in prison instead of death. Of course child rape should be punishable by death. The real question, as is the questions with the death penalty in general, is do you think our court system has a zero wrongful conviction rate? And the answer is no. So, while I would be happy to see every child rapist killed, I'm not okay with innocent people being killed. And unfortunately, that's what does and will happen with the death penalty in general. Think about the kind of crazy that would cause someone to rape a young child. That's not fixable. Those people cannot be rehabbed and they will always be a danger to the public. The greater good is served by the death penalty, but should be reserved for particularly heinous acts. For example, a 30-year-old man kidnaps and rapes a 6-year-old. Society should have no mercy for that kind of crime. I don't trust politicians who obsessively tries to protect kids when they don't even invest in trying to encourage kids to seek help. Religious entities are rife with sexual abuse, but they don't do anything about it. What's stopping them from falsely accusing someone for being a child rapist? Given law enforcement shitty investigation skills, they don't give a fuck if the person is innocent. Right now, Florida and other states refer to the existence of any gender nor non-conformity grooming minors and even tantrum over rainbows in a classroom. The actual child molesters are getting. My bet is that this would only apply to the gay ones when it comes to trial time, even if no actual children were molested, and never to clergy or politicians. I love the idea the only problem is when the rapist is the biological father or grandfather etc. I feel like it's detrimental to the victim knowing their blood relations got killed after they reported. This might discourage them to report if they don't wish death on their family member. And most child rape are performed by family members which makes things super complicated. Men who have abortions and now consider transgender people existing in public as sexual assault against children so they'll have an excuse to kill transgender people because they exist illegally. Edit, I'm sure women who have natural miscarriages will also be investigated and charged with murder and put to death. 2. Morally, yes. Logically, sadly, no. Death penalties just incentivizes the criminal to murder the victim. And as someone else pointed out, no, Timmy, you can't tell anyone about Uncle Gary. The police will come and kill him, it'll be all your fault. Then, as with all crimes resulting in death penalties, what about false convictions? You can rarely be 100 certain. Would you trust Florida of all places to not bungle up a conviction? The thing with death penalty is, to justify it, you would need a near-perfect justice system, but all places which practice it have a shit show for a justice system. So no, I don't support death penalty for any crime. There is no crime that cannot be penalized by life term just as well, but more justly. I'm hesitant of any proposed legislation from Florida that seeks the moral high ground due to the sheer volume of brain-dead culture wars if been taking up lately. Should pedophiles and sexual predators be punished to the fullest extent of the law? Absolutely. Is Florida's conservative legislative body a level-headed arbiter of morality? Fuck no. When it comes to the death penalty, 
I'm inclined to judge on a case-by-case -case basis. I think it should exist. But only as the very final ultimate line in the sand for truly extreme crimes with a plethora of undeniable proof. In this case, though, I'd say no. Because they're going to use this law to hang drag queens rather than actual kiddie diddlers. I really don't know how I will shout on this. My gut instinct says it would lead to more child murder. But I might be thinking about it too far. If pedophilia is really like an unrelenting urge, it's gonna happen unfortunately. I don't like the idea of killing the kid to cover their tracks being a may as well. What more do I have to lose option? My issue with the death penalty is, point one, the state decided who gets to die. I'm 100 against that idea. Two, there will always be people who are innocent put to death. It may be a small percentage, but that's still that percentage to many. Three, child predators deserve the worst of the worst. Absolutely. I'm just not sure it's the death penalty. It's been brought up before. When strict laws like this are made, they eventually change the definition of what the law is for. A child rapist gets the death penalty, but eventually they'll change the law for what is child rape so now it's applying to things and people they don't like rather than what it was originally made for. Likely their fascist method of making being LGBT illegal, calling all of us pedophiles while the fascists are actually pedophiles, then using that logic they can exterminate LGBT people in their state. Don't be fooled. Also, our justice system is far from perfect and far too many people have died and later acquitted.